I can't get this feeling anywhere else but mm. with the guys in the studio. That's the drug and it's hard to explain. I'm constantly surprised, I'm constantly impressed and I enjoy those feelings. <laughs> So did you fly from Edinburgh yeah, today? Just, uh, yesterday, last night. Oh, yesterday, okay, okay. No, so you're all based from there and you always stayed there and you started as pretty a band as well. Yeah, pretty Correct. much. How come you never moved? I was wondering. It's a real question. Like, are you... yeah. There was a window where if we were going to do it, we would have done it. But yeah. we like our families too much, you know what I mean? Mm. And then after we started kind of getting a bit of a name for ourselves, it kind of felt actually that it was in our favour that we weren't part of London. If you know, we weren't part of the industry city kind of thing and we were outside it. I think it just fits us. It fits it us better because we just, mm. um, we do what we do and then we have the opportunity to go down and mm. perform or yeah. work. Then it, then you can sort of dip in and dip out. I think being in Edinburgh and the fact that, especially when we were younger, there was a lack of a scene made you want to punch outwards and made you Good. punch further. Yeah. You know I mean? Making I mean, the music that you don't find in the world. Yeah, yeah. and so the yeah. whole point was to kind of get out and escape. And and we were more received better in London and Glasgow first, you know, because... Yeah. Before our hometown. Before our hometown, yeah, and we had to kind of go away to be accepted at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Classic. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I've had the same thing uh, yeah. with France as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to London. Oh, well, yeah, but she's yeah. one of us now. She's yeah. one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think your music is incredible for me because it has this timeless element to it. It doesn't look like it's trying to be um, attached to any kind of... Yeah. Uh, Scene, place, yes, or Yes, that's it. There's type. a pure freedom to it, you know, if that makes any sense. But it's also a collage of different genres of music. Because I hear Scottish in your music as yeah. well. Chants and, you know, that folk tradition. Yeah. Yeah, well, and you didn't have to go further back than that. I mean, you, it was just go back to Africa, really. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like the call and response thing, and you know. And, and I think when we were doing a record, we we talked about you know if you go th through different ages, there's like you know with folk music and mm. African music, and just right across the world, there's like a there's a there's a, there's a thread mm. or a lineage mm. of everyone doing this sort of call and response kind of thing, and that's yes. like a communal mm. aspect. The fact that there's a common point to all of them yeah. is kind of yeah. mesmerising. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's made us focus on one, what do we, what's our strong points and what do we yeah. do? And it's about the people in it. It's not about the kind of technology and the, it was kind of about what the you do with it. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not about the shining, the, it's about the it's people. It's about the heavy, what, heavy stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's grinding, and it's, it's grinding as well. I like saying things twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. Shining, yeah, shining, it's playful. <laughs> Breathe in, like a lion. Breathe out. This is your fourth album, so you've been doing this for quite a while now, mm -hmm. although you're very young. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's, you've made a lot of records for your age, I think, and, and a lot of collaborations. And I feel that there is an evolution in what you're doing. And this idea of change, even in your lyrics, is something you talk about. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're called Young Fathers, and I know, mm. I don't know who, but had a child, and I think, <laughs> <laughs> and I think the, the, you talked about it in interviews I read, but yeah. this idea of, I love in Geronimo, you know, this idea of being a, um, Redefining this, this concept of providing as not necessarily right. being a toxic, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. subject yeah. about yeah. being a man and, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. So I think that it's like, you. yeah, it was just like, <laughs> it's like, um, for me, it just redefined what is before you worry about providing and money and all the things that, you know, you think for a, for a child. That, mm. And then actually, when he, when he came along, it was kind of like, the opposite happened and actually made me more lean into what we were doing and kind of trying to make it even more us and stranger and weirder and um, 
in our way, if you know what I mean, because I, I think we, we've, we're aware now that we're quite a strange concept for yeah. a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how come, how come? I think it's, it's just I think we've just always had this thing. Well, like if you it's go, three Beyonces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's yeah. three Beyonces. You know what I mean? It's like it's, <laughs> there, it's, it's one of those things, and it's. You said three Beyonces. Yeah, three Beyonces. Yeah. yeah so. Who's Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> Teens hip hop. Under 16 night, we're an open mic. Even under 16s. Yeah, it was under 16s, yeah. And in an it was, open mic. It was. It, it used to have an open mic, and it was basically mm. a lot of guys going up to like rap battle, like eight mile style or whatever. And we would go up and do, you know, three minute pop songs, and that was kind of our dance moves. rebellion. But that was why we, <laughs> that's, that's why we stuck together, because it was kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our love of our, like, kind of pop sensibilities is what made us stick together. Um, mm. And, like, I think when we were younger, yeah. you know, you'd make the song and then you'd be like, oh, can you hear this on the radio? Yeah, video, blah, blah, you see the music video. videos and stuff. And we're still like that to this day. It's just different. It's just, it's still like when we make a song, mm -hmm. you, the song is king first in the moment. And so all you're trying to do is satisfy that and surprise yourself and surprise mm -hmm. each other. It's almost like you went from mainstream to complete exploration. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, like we... But it happened at a very yeah. early age in our... In our lives, so yeah. it's like, yeah. in the well, like 15 or something like that, yeah. you know what I mean? So, just as well, just as well. But the good. joy is and still there, young. the playfulness yeah. is still there. Oh, it will never go, because it's yeah. like... Sometimes. <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes. After too many interviews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I think it's what Graham is saying is, in my opinion, I can't get this feeling anywhere else but mm. with the guys in the studio. Mm -hmm. And that's you can't explain that. that's that's the drug, and it's hard to explain. What I do know within that space is that I'm constantly surprised, and I'm constantly impressed, <laughs> and I enjoy those feelings. <laughs> Check that down. 